Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to another weigh-in. Today is week 14 weigh-in. Before we get into it, I do want to say if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you're always notified of every single upload. Share this video if you feel like it will help someone else. And I also have a channel membership. You guys get early access to my videos and it's a great way for you guys to support the channel. More information about that is down below in the description box. But you guys are a week behind on these weigh-ins. So if you guys want to be up to date on my weigh-ins as they happen, then you can join my channel membership. And again, more information about that is down below in the description box. I also just did a video where I shared my work, my new workout routine and also what I'm eating in a day. So I'm going to link that video down below for you guys to go check out to make sure you check it out if you guys are interested in what I'm eating and also my new workout routine. I think that's everything. Leave me a butterfly emoji down below in the comment section. And now let's go ahead and get into this video. Week 14, non-scale victory. Do you guys see where this necklace is laying on my neck? Do y'all see? I had noticed this, honestly, but I had not gone back and look at any like video footage or photos or anything. But I'm sitting here watching this video back and I was like, okay, no, I know my, my necklace is, is hanging down lower lower than that. So y'all want to see where it was? I don't, I can't tell you exactly when I filmed this. Possibly that it was like March 1st, possibly a couple of weeks prior to March 1st. I'm not sure. But look at where, or like into March. I, girl, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. But just look at the difference in like about a month's time. Can y'all see? That's where it used to lay pull it out so you guys could see it that way like right there do you see it now oh. something I was also just talking to someone about is me noting that when I'm dancing I can keep up easier and I can do the moves a lot easier and I used to really have to watch a lot of the moves that I would do because a lot of the moves, if I did them in a certain way or bent down too much or like got too, like down too low, I would feel pressure and pain in my knee. So I'd be like, oh, can't do that. I haven't felt that. And I didn't notice it until my mom was here on Saturday and she was like, oh, I wish I could dance with you, but my knees hurt. And I was like, I have not felt knee pain and I can't tell, like I didn't even notice. It was just her noting that she was having knee pain. And I was like, I don't have knee pain anymore when I dance. So I can do like these turns. I usually like avoid doing cause I'm like, oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hurt my knee or it's gonna twist it in some certain way or it's gonna, you know, like none of that. And then today I was at the Dollar Tree and I was coming out and I would just, I was just noting my glide, like how I was walking and how it just kind of felt like just, it just felt easier, it just felt easier. And from there, there's this curb, okay? When I was 331 pounds, even still at like 306, going down curbs or walking up curbs, I would always feel pain in my knee. And here I am just walking at a faster pace than I'm used to, A, B, just kind of feeling in my body that I'm lighter. I can really, I'm really able to see and tell my progress lately. Like I've really been able to see it and just feel it. And to just feel the way that I was walking and the speed and just feeling like almost like I was gliding, like it wasn't hard. And then I just walked down that curb and stepped off that curb like it was nothing. And it reverted me to remind, and in that moment I was like, I just did that. I don't feel it anymore on curves and I'm like. Also, when I go down the stairs and when I go up the stairs, such a difference. The speed in which I'm able to go down the stairs, the fact that it's just it's just easier overall. So those are some non-scale victories that I wanted to note that I have been kind of recognizing and realizing the past couple of days and it's just like 
okay, like I can actually like, it's not me just seeing it. Like I can feel a considerable difference when walking, going upstairs, stepping off the curb, all of the things. So I wanted to share. First, I wanna say, I am going through comments of the video that just got uploaded today. I think it was week 12. I'm reading the comments on today's video and oh my gosh, I forgot your name already. Oh, forgiven for life 90. Hmm. Hold on, cause I wanna, I wanna give you a correct shout out, hold on. Forgiven for life 93. You gave me a scripture. I told you in the comment that, first of all, thank you. I've never heard that before. <laughs> and so I told you, I'm gonna set y'all up right here. All right, so right here is my calendar. You guys know about the calendar. It has my stars. So I look at this often throughout the day, especially when I'm struggling. I come in here sometimes and I'll just look at it to just remind myself of my accomplishments and how far I've come. So I wrote down the scripture that you wrote in the comment. It says 1 Corinthians 6, 12. Everything is permissible for me, but not all things are beneficial. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be enslaved by anything and brought under its power, allowing it to control me. I am putting this in my pantry right on these grits right below this calendar because you are right i allow food to have control over me i've allowed food to have control over me for way too long in my life and i'm not doing it anymore and right along with all of this food in here i'm putting that scripture so thank you thank you so much you are so kind. Y'all, first, I just want to say, y'all are amazing. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all for the double butterfly emojis, A. There's so many of y'all that commented that. Thank you. Thank you to those of you for leaving the kind, uh, encouraging, incredible, amazing comments. Thank you for sharing your stories. Thank you for allowing us to be able to have an open discussion without judgment on certain topics. Thank you guys for just being so amazing and so encouraging and so awesome. I'm gonna show y'all this now and then I'm gonna go back to responding to y'all's comments because y'all are bringing a huge smile to my face today. Thank you. Here we go. We haven't made it past day three yet because we're on day three, but I actually haven't been struggling today. So that is good to know. Um, but yeah, here's my calendar. And then here is the scripture girl. Thank you. Thank you so very much. All right, week 14, we got some non-scale victories. I also, again, had to say a huge thank you to you guys for your kindness, your encouragement, your uplifting, for being here. Some of you have been here with me for so many years and have seen my up and down, up and down, up and down. You guys are still here supporting it. I just, again, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Y'all mean the absolute world to me. And I'm so appreciative for y'all. I'm so incredibly appreciative. So before we get into the weigh-in, I do want to say something that I've been experiencing this weekend that I didn't really come talk to on camera. I'm just going to share it here. I'm exhausted, you guys. I am so tired. This has been going on for the past three weeks where I will have a couple of days where I just barely feel like I can function. And then I kind of rest up a little bit and then I feel fine. And then it goes again where I feel depleted and that was Saturday. Saturday I was so tired. Yesterday I had a little bit more energy but today, Monday, woke up, I am dragging. I have to go volunteer today. Everything in me is like I just want to cancel and go lay on the couch and do absolutely nothing. This goes back into A. Those old habits, y'all, when I say they are wanting to bang, they are at the door friggin' trying to bang it down. Like they are, whoo, those old habits, they're there. They're wanting to creep back in so hardcore. And I'm really, really, really having to fight hard to not go back to them. 
really, really hard. Um, especially when you are more fatigued, you already know it's, it's, it's harder to stay on track and what you're doing and get your workouts in and want to have, want to take the time out to meal prep and cook instead of calling. I have not even thought about fast food. Saturday, I was so tired that I was like, I just want to order fast food from Taco Bell and not that that's bad. It's not bad at all. But things have just been really, really, really difficult in the in the fatigue area. In the in the. It's weird though because like it'll go on for a couple of days and then I'll be fine. And then it'll come back and. Oh, but it, it's been hard. It's been hard. Yeah, old habits. But trying to bang that door. They're trying hard. Like I didn't want to get up today. I don't want to keep the commitment that I made to myself and the commitment that I made to the charity that I'm volunteering for. Um, laying on the couch watching movies. Y'all, I talked to y'all about this. I don't want, I have not been watching much TV at all. I've been occupying my time with YouTube has been taking up a lot of my time. And then also I'm doing TikToks, I'm doing Instagram posts. That also takes up a lot of time. And then the other things I'm doing to fill up other time, like just a lot of other things you got that I'm doing that I've been talking to you guys about, getting my groceries instead of getting them delivered, actually going to the grocery store, going to multiple grocery stores, getting the best deals that I possibly can to save the most amount of money that I can. Um, these are all new habits. And like I want, again, for the first time, I wanted to just get my groceries delivered. And I sat there and I was like, do you really want to pay the tip? Because that's, that's my biggest thing is like paying the tip right now. But then also like go ahead and go out there and get, get, the, get the exercise in. Get the extra movement in. So I do want to just come on here and be completely transparent with you guys. I'm really struggling. I'm really, really, really struggling. Having to fight through this has been really, really, really challenging. So I got on the scale, it said 292.4. So I'm down another pound from last week for a total of 27.6 pounds in 14 weeks. That's amazing. It's so amazing. I'm so proud of myself. I am, yeah, I cannot, y'all, I can't wait to get my energy back. I wanted to share another non-scale victory with y'all. These jeans right here, when I first was wearing them months ago, like, I could not do this. Like, they were so tight. I had muffin top. Like, I had all of the things. This this camera is, is going to be a little more difficult to focus, I feel, because it's not, it's more meant for you to sit and kind of stay still. But I was in the mirror today, and I actually, like, saw a little gap back here, and I was like, wait, what? So here's another non-scale victory that I wanted to share with y'all. These are fitting so much better than they used to. And like, I mean, they have a stretchy waistband, but I was not able to do that. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoy. If you have any suggestions on the energy level, I'm almost wondering... I have been dancing a lot. I'm wondering if maybe I should cut back on the dancing and and do more walks like I was. I don't know. Um, we'll just have to we'll just have to see. But I know I'm gonna keep fighting through this, and as as difficult as it is, y'all y'all know I'm gonna I'm gonna share the good, the bad, the ugly with y'all. And right now, like I was struggling. I think it was two weeks ago I did that video where I was talking about I was struggling. I'm struggling again. Oh. Saturday, y'all, when I tell you I wanted to eat so bad, I wanted to eat so bad. Oh my gosh, I wanted to eat so freaking bad. I made it through, obviously, um, but I was, I was, and that's why, another reason why I did not want to get Taco Bell, because eating fast food, like, let's be real, like, as long as you're in a calorie deficit, you can literally eat whatever you want, right? You do want to make better choices because if you are eating things that aren't going to fill you up, then that's for me another reason why I don't, I haven't eaten any fast food this whole entire year. And it's really not, it's also my budget just doesn't allow for it. 
But on top of that, like I wanted to eat so bad and I was just like, oh, let me get Taco Bell. I just knew that was that would be a recipe for disaster because of the mindset that I was already in of like fighting back on wanting to eat. Um, and then the fact that I was so fatigued and so tired that it was just like I didn't want to do anything but just lay there. It was a really, really, really difficult day. But I made it through and I'm so, so, so proud of myself. So that is another really big non-scale victory because that was the first time like I have been wanting to eat any time in the past that I've wanted to eat. Now there has been like a couple of times where I've been like, oh, I just want to go order something because I even talked to you guys about it. I want to go order something and, and eat all of it and just like stuff my face and just I want to feel full. I want to feel these other things, which is so ridiculous because it's so uncomfortable. And it's like, no, Jill, you really don't want to feel that way. But you know, mind be playing tricks on you and stuff. But it's like, I was like, I was at that point before it was just like the thought I actually looked up, went on Taco Bell's website and was looking at their menu. And I said, Jill, stop. Yeah, you say you're going to get a Power Bowl, and yeah, you say you're going to get one other thing, but, like, the way that you're feeling right now emotionally, I just don't think it's a good idea because I don't know if you're going to, if that's going to send you into making it even harder for you. So so I work through it, and I'm, I'm proud of my choice. I'm very proud of my choice, um, and I'm not craving Taco Bell anymore, so... <laughs> I mean, I really do think that that was 100% emotional. I also, very tired, didn't want to cook. So there's a lot of a lot of factors into it. Um, when I'm telling these stories, by the way, I don't want anyone to think that these that I'm deeming these foods as bad because I'm 100% not. A, my budget really doesn't allow for me to go be eating fast food, especially getting delivery all the time. B, my budget really doesn't allow for me um, to instead of spending the amount of money that I would spend to get groceries delivered and have that tip, I can put that money towards more groceries, which is what I need with my finances and all of this right now. So when I'm saying any of these things, I don't want anyone to think like, oh, this is just toxic. She's going to burn out. She's this, she's that. This is just sometimes the steps that you have to take to get through. Like this is an actual addiction. This is not just, it's not just as simple as stop freaking eating and go go work out it, it's so much more than that and that's another reason why it's so important that I talk about these things is so that I can bring awareness some people you will never change their mind but some people I am opening up the possibility of it being like oh or maybe some people like, there's a lot of you that know what I'm going through and you understand and you too are going through the struggle so maybe I'm offering you some suggestions and some tips on how to get through it. There's so many, so many possibilities in me sharing my story, which is why I'm going to continue to do it. Um, but I don't ever want anyone to come across and being like, oh, she, she wouldn't let herself get Taco Bell. Like, that's so toxic. It's not that. It's just I know myself more than anyone does, A. Eh? But B, I knew in that moment that it was an emotional decision. It, it, was a, it was a decision based on emotions more than me actually like having that craving. And if I was still craving Taco Bell today, I would give in to that craving. Because this is something I've talked about too is, and I've talked about this with my nutritionist, we don't have to give it, we'll have a craving. So say I have a craving. She told me it is okay for you to say, okay, I acknowledge the craving, but we're going to wait a little bit. And you decide what that little bit is. But I told myself if I'm craving something and I don't give in to that craving, but two, three, four days, I'm still in a row craving that thing. Oh, I'm going to go have that thing. I just haven't been put in that situation where I've craved something that long because what I'm realizing is a lot of my cravings are emotional. They're not actual I want this and it's like something like my body is craving because there's a difference between your body just like craving something or you wanting something so bad and then an emotional craving and everything that I've been experiencing so far are emotional cravings and those are the things that I personally do not want to give into especially not this early on to my journey maybe 
in down the road, I will be able to balance it where it's like, okay, this is an emotional, emotional craving and we're going to give into it this time. Um, because I think that there's also like that fine line where you can give into emotional cravings or some emotional eating, but not anywhere to the extent. Um, and, and maybe I won't ever, I'm, I'm not sure because of the whole line of the eating disorder and stuff and the addiction part of it. I, I don't know, but that's something that I will learn about myself as I go in this journey. And, um, yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you guys made it to the end of this video, don't forget to leave me two butterfly emojis down below in the comment section. Don't forget about my channel membership. If you guys want early access to my videos and share this video, if you found it helpful and you feel like it would be helpful to someone else. All right, guys, I love you. Have an amazing day, and I will see you on Monday probably with another video. Bye, guys.